Hi there, and welcome to Economic Observations. My name is Chris. Today is the 25th of April. Thank you so much for watching. This video is brought to you by the Tanzania School Foundation, a nonprofit doing excellent work down in Tanzania trying to end the cycle of poverty through education. All right, let's get started. Today we are going to talk about the impending recession and where it is going to hit in America because it is not going to hit America equally. We have big cities like San Francisco where there are 200 publicly traded companies and 65% of them are losing money. You have Robinhood, which is down 75%. Their stock price is down 75% since the last six months. You have DoorDash. DoorDash is down 60%. You have Open Door down 70%. You have Facebook down 46%, which is a whopping $5 billion poof out of the economy. So what's going to happen when 59% of San Francisco's publicly traded, mostly tech growth stocks that are losing money? Why are they losing money? Well, there are two reasons. It is called inflation and rising interest rates. And I talked about it in my last video, how higher interest rates are going to really hurt companies who live on cheap credit. And so many of them do. And it's not only in San Francisco. We have Boston, where 52% of publicly traded companies, mostly in the biotech re realm, losing money. You look at Bluebird Bio. Bluebird Bio is running out of cash. Thousands of investors hoarded to these companies early on during the pandemic and they pulled their money out. Take Bluebird for example. The IPO was at $19. Now it is trading at $4.10. All right, you don't only have Boston and San Francisco, you have Seattle, 54% of Seattle's companies are down. Salt Lake City, 44% of their publicly traded companies. San Diego, 48%. And it doesn't stop there, but you kind of get where I'm going to. So what happens when companies are cash poor? Well, what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of layoffs. And the real estate markets and those cities that I just mentioned, their real estate market is going to be affected. There's going to be a lag and it's probably going to take 9 to 12 months before the layoffs really hit home. But the housing in those cities is bound to come down. Now, I'm not saying the whole country is going to see a decline, but where there's a lot of growth activity, stocks that perform in the growth sector, we are going to see real estate be affected. Now, where is real estate going to boom? In the heartland of America, agriculture is booming right now. There's a shortage of wheat and crops and that kind of stuff. There's steel. You have supermarkets, which are doing really well, and they're all over the country. Oil, gas, gold, energy stocks, all performing really well. It's the growth tech, sock, tech sector, which seems to be affected. Is the stock market a good gauge? Well, maybe. Maybe it is. It has the tendency to do wacky things over the past two years. It can go up and it can go down. But I think that we are at a good starting point right now. And why? Because inflation and higher interest rates. And those are going to have a major impact. I talked about how there's going to be layoffs. And there are going to be layoffs, especially when Jerome Powell says he is tightening monetary policy and money is not going to be cheap anymore. We are going to see the effects of that. You know, it is in a massive, massive bubble. It just is in a bubble. It's because of the tech Ponzi scheme. And that's what it's been. It hasn't made a lot of money ever. People have just invested in it because they wanted to be in the future and they thought that that's where it was. Well, it's not. Debt and fake equity. It's going to affect those cities. And it's not just going to be those cities that I mentioned. Do your homework. Reno, Boise, Idaho, a lot of other cities too are going to be affected. And where is it going to boom? Oklahoma City, Houston, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee. 
Those are the cities that we're going to see growth in. The heartland of America, where goods are produced. Goods that are in short supply. Goods that are needed. Not in the tech sector. So hold on tight because we're in for a bumpy ride. And this is my prediction. And listen, I live in Boston. I don't want to see the price of housing come down, believe me. But when you look at a company like Bluebird Bio, how could it not? All right, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate you. Smash the like button, hit subscribe to this channel, and we'll talk again real soon. And as always, I appreciate you. Call someone, tell them you love them, and have a wonderful night.